Office Blow Daz, and what we're going to do today is uh, my colleagues Sophie and Aidan are going to ask me questions on what the word means. They're going to give me words that the kids use and the trendy kids, the trendy people use at the moment, the buzzwords of the moment, and see if someone who's old like me knows what they mean. So, go on, go ahead. Okay, so the first one we've got is lit. 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 And something's, I think I know this. When something's lit, it means it's good. It means yeah. like something like, uh, so you'd say something along the lines of, uh, that was lit, meaning that was really good. So it's not, if I had a good meal and you know, what's that say to the waiter, that was lit. And he'd probably go, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, that's one point. Do you know what salty means? Salty? Mm. The, in my phrase, I would use salty is if someone's a little bit... Uh, uh, a little bit nasty in a way of like uh, a little bit off. So if someone's been a bit mean or someone's a little bit jealous, mm -hmm. you'd say, ooh, salty. Mm. In yeah, that phrase. Yeah, it means like you're annoyed at someone. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Close enough there. Perfect. Um, I'm the on next... a roll. I'm on, I'm like butter. I'm on a roll. <laughs> um, next one is Bay. Bay. B A E. Like James Bay, Bay the singer. No. Uh, bay, I've heard this phrase before, I have heard it. And it's when partners refer to each other as their bay. So I'm yeah. assuming it's short, the baby. I don't hear bay, baby, you're not really short in baby that much, so that can, <laughs> might not be right as well. <laughs> no, it's a really, so, really good guess, you got the, you're, all, you're along the right lines. It's a term of endearment, I'm guessing. Yes, yeah. so it means before anyone else. Oh. So you're my bay, you're before anyone else. You're talking to me now still now? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what an RBF is? RBF? Yeah. RBF. Um, I'm thinking it's something to do, is it BF mean best friend? No. No. So it's not like my real best friend. He's my best friend, but he's my real best friend. He's my really, real, real best friend. <laughs> best friend forever. RBF. <laughs> That'd be BFF, yeah. Uh, RBF. Um, what does the first, what does the R mean? Resting. Resting bitch face. Yeah. Yeah, my wife's got that. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one, Bleebero. Oh, I know what that is, that's easy. That's just in Bieber fans, isn't it? Perfect, yeah. Yeah, the Believers. <laughs> yeah, the Believers. Um, snatched. <laughs> Oosh. Snatch. Snatch chat. I didn't say snatch, I said snatched. Snatched. Oh. Um, snatched. Um, snatched. To be honest, I've never even heard this myself. Snatched. So I'll put it into a sentence. Go on then. Darren, you look very snatched today. I'm thinking it uh, must be uh, something along the lines of tired or very smart. One, of the, one, one, one way or the other. You got it the second time, look good. So right. yeah, so if you're, okay. you look snatched, you look good. Right. So where does that come from? Does it come from the movie Snatched? I don't know. Tell you, <laughs> Who knows? Mm. Maybe. See, I was going to invent Snatch Chat, if you remember. I remember that. Where people would send photographs on a platform of... It was for adults only. Oh, it? right, okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> never heard of it, but... Okay. It's what you're every day. Yeah. Uh, do you know what TTYL means? TTYL is L love. No. Lost. No. Leaving. No. Is why you why your. No. Close though. You. Yeah. Mhm. Mm T T U. Liar. No. No. No, you know, no, it's a... Uh, Give me the first word. Talk. Talk. Talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> Dank. Dank. D-A-N-K. Yeah, D-A-N-K. Like German for thank you, almost. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, what is English slang, what does it mean? So if someone would say, you, you, are, you are dank, or you look dank. 
Maybe, depending on the day. Right, so rubbish, shit. The complete opposite, mate. Mm. Good. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. I wonder about that. <laughs> no idea, never heard of it. Uh, Chugi. Chugi? Chugi. Can you spell it for me, please? C H E U G Y. E U G Y. Now, this is a word so, I only learned about a year or so ago. It's right. quite a new word. Right, Chugi, I'm thinking. You know, when you've got like a little bit of phlegm in your throat and you like go, <coughs> and you go, <coughs> and a big like piece of phlegm comes out. That's a chugi. <laughs> <laughs> green, like oyster looking. Green? Yeah. And you cough it up from your throat. <clears throat> All right, no, I don't need any demonstration. Chugi. To sorry. <laughs> uh, Am I right? No. 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 It means, you actually couldn't be more wrong. <laughs> it means not trendy. <laughs> so oh, your right. shoes are chugi, for example, in a sentence, not you oh, personally. Jordan one's on. <laughs> <laughs> um, next one, simp. Yeah, that's easy. That you two are simps, simples, simple people. Yeah, we are that as well. Yeah. Um, any other guesses though? Because that's not what it means in this context. Simp is like uh, someone who's like not all there, like a bit stupid. Hmm. It's, no? it's like not on the right lines, but I kind of get where you're going with it. Um, so it's a person who does too much for their partner or crush. Oh, so it's kind of like the, the, the whip to get under the thumb a little bit, yeah. Pussy whipped, we say. Yes, yeah. yeah. Pussy whipped. Um, a snack. A snack? Yeah. Oh, the more it actually means, yeah. like, I'm yeah. a snack. Yeah. I'm going to have a snack. Yeah. Like, you're a snack. Oh, you're a snack. Ah, all right. Um, I'm thinking you probably... Uh, if that's the case, you're not a meal, you're a snack. So you're something in between. So is it someone, is it like a party you've got on the side? That's a really good guess, though, <laughs> yeah, it, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, good logic to work it out, but it's wrong. Uh, is it a girl you like, or a person you like? Yeah, it's someone you find attractive. Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah. yeah. Find attractive, snack. Yeah. Um, so living rent-free is the next one. Living rent-free? Living rent-free. Yeah, I use this phrase sometimes. I know what this means. Living rent free means you're bothering people in the way of like all they can think about is you. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I live rent free in your head. Yeah. Perfect. Meaning, meaning you're only thinking about me all the time and it's bothering you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Perfect. What if you said that that slaps? That slaps. Slaps. That slaps. Um, We're looking for the definition of the word slaps. Mm. I think that means the only thing I can think of is when you slap something. Or, you know, get your dollars out. <laughs> right? Um, I think when you slap, it slaps, it's funny. Uh, I'm going that way. Something that makes you laugh. It's just something that you find exceptional. Something that you find good, really. Yeah, okay, so that, that's good. Yeah, so we'll kind of give you that one. It, yeah, yeah you, could, you, right could, you could laugh at something and be like, that joke slaps. Mm. Right. Yeah. So I give you half a point. in English, yeah. Yeah. That joke slaps. Um, next one, guap. Guap. Spell it for me, please. G U A P. Guap. Guap. Fucking hell. No idea on this one, but I'm thinking, give me a phrase. It'd be something like, you are guap or you look guap. As in? He acts guap. I've got a lot of guap. You've got a lot of hair. Not hair, is it? No. Uh, you haven't got I've you not got, actually got a lot of hair. Is it money? Just used it. Yeah. Is it money? Yeah. 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 Perfect. <laughs> got it. So we use cheddar in yeah, the old, cheddar, in the old cheddar. school. Cheddar? Cheddar, yeah. Got a lot of cheddar. Cheddar, yeah. cheddar cheese. Like cheddar. Oh, cheddar. I say, cheddar. I say cheddar. I say dough. Dough, cheddar. Yeah, I'd say dough, yeah. Mm. Wonga. What? Wonga. Yeah. Wonga. Nah, never heard of that. <laughs> never heard of that. Uh, clap back. Clap back. Sounds like a disease. Um, I've got to go to the doctor. I've got, I, think, I think I've got clap back. <laughs> Does this look like clap? Go to the receptionist. Remember that? <laughs> Can I see the doctor? What is wrong with you? I've got clap back. <laughs> I'm definitely, definitely going to use that. Whatever it means, that's what I'm going to say from now on. As soon as that doctor's receptionist says to me, what's wrong? I've got clap back. <laughs> you should go, what sound? Clap back. You don't know what it means. Clap back is... Um, 
that back. I mean, the only thing I think is if you clap him back, you know, obviously, and then mm. being sarcastic. That would be logical, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, like sarcastic. You know, someone does something and you go, it's like a sarcastic, sort of like slow clap, isn't it? Um, mm. So I'm going to say clap back would be. Uh, I'm thinking it's stylish. It's, 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 quite, it's quite a tough one, this to be fair. It's when you like respond to someone after you've kind of been called out on something. So, like, when someone kind of. Ah, gets so angry at you, I yeah. said something to you, retaliate. you retaliate into yeah. by saying something. And that's called clap back, so mm -hmm. he's saying he's give me some clap back. Well, is that you using the phrase want if, uh, Yeah, if you, you, you want to start, yeah. you know. Yeah. This guy's giving me some clap back. No, I'd rather use it in the doctor's terminology. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds better. I, I never say that, to be honest. <laughs> um, and the last one um, is goat. But goat. this is like a... Yeah, I know what that is. Greatest of all time. Yeah. Perfect, you got it. Yeah, because we use that. I use that phrase in, in soccer or in you know in sports mm. when or, or comedy. When I when I watch a comedian who's one of the best, like Bill Burr, we say he's the goat. Dave Chappelle, he's the goat, greatest of all time. You have to choose one though. Hmm? You can only choose one. Who yeah, is it? Uh, Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah, on comedy. Yeah, mm. Lionel Messi on uh, football. Football. Yeah. Tom Brady at NFL. Fair Do you want me an NBA one? Go on. Fly. Uh, NBA one will be um, Kobe. Kobe, not Michael Jordan. You have well, I've got them both on the wall there. Yeah, <laughs> I've got Kobe on that side, Michael Jordan on that side, with Mike Tyson in the middle, who was also the goat at boxing. True. Yeah. So. Yeah. So. Great. There you go. Cheers. Well, thanks for watching that, and uh, hopefully you knew what they all meant as well. And don't forget, if you have got clap back, get to see your doctor. Catch you later. <laughs>